Hey guys, it's your girl Chocolate Curls, also known as Amaria Lisa, and this tutorial is how to blow out your natural hair using minimal heat. Um, I was able to achieve a really nice blowout. My hair is super fluffy, not stiff at all, and I'm loving it. So go ahead and stay tuned and see how it was done. I will be beginning this tutorial on some freshly washed hair. And to blow out my hair, I will be using the Revlon One Step Air Dryer. I'm really excited to tell you guys about this blow dryer. I mean, it was my first time using it, but as you can see, I was also excited. And this is not your traditional air dryer because it's like a brush. So instead of having a brush in your hand or, an att or attaching a comb to your blow dryer, this one comes with a brush already built in. So I feel like it makes the job a lot easier and it's very easy to use. All you do is turn this knob to whatever setting you want to put it on I did it on low but they have different settings that you can choose from this dryer has a cool setting a low setting and a high setting to achieve this blowout I'll be using main choices three-in-one replenishing and refreshing conditioner this is from their core line and I went ahead and washed my hair with these products prior to doing this blowout so I'm just gonna follow up with their leave-in conditioner because I feel like using the same line will give you the best results versus switching up different products in between I'm also going to follow up with a heat protectant spray. This one I have here is by Fantasia. You can use an oil or a spray. This is just what I had at home, so it's what I use to give me some heat protection. And it was only $9.99 from the beauty supply store. The reason I'm blowing out my hair is because I want to get my hair braided and give my hair a break. And my hairstylist required me to not put any oils. I have my hair oily, so I'm only going to put a really small amount of this leave-in conditioner. Just enough to moisturize my hair, and I'm going to rub it through my strands to make sure all of them are coated. And after that, I'm going to apply some of the heat protectant spray to my hands or my hair. I'm going to do both throughout this video. I'm just trying to make sure I get it all throughout my hair so my hair is protected. And I'm going to put the leave-in conditioner on first because I want to moisturize before I protect, okay? This is just me trying to get me a nice little length check to see how long it'll be when I do go ahead and blow dry it and just the shrinkage is real, that's all I have to say. As I've said earlier, I'm going to blow dry my hair on the low setting because I don't want to apply too much heat to my hair because I don't want any heat damage. So I'm going to just keep it at the bare minimum because I know I'm going to be running this blow dryer over my hair plenty of times. So I'm going to start from the ends and get those ends nice and blue out before I go up to the roots, just like you would do with combing your hair, which is why I really love the fact that this is a brush because you would use it the same way that you use a brush. It just may take a few more passes being that you have it on low, but I feel like it's worth it. You really want to make sure you get that product coated throughout your hair. So make sure you're really rubbing through your hair as much as you can with your fingers to make sure you get that product throughout it. And you also want the heat protectant to be spread throughout all of your strands as well. So take the time and do that before you go ahead and run the blow dryer on it. You can even see me using my brush sometimes. I'm using my hands. I'm doing whatever it takes, honestly. And I'm going to start at the ends and work my way up to the roots once again like you would do regularly brushing your hair. During the first pass of blowing out my hair, I mainly was just trying to really blow dry it. And after I blow dry it, I would combine the two sections and run the blow dryer over it slowly and take my time to make sure like that it was kind of getting straightened in the process, if you understand what I'm saying. And I feel like the slower you do it and you, if you stretch your hair out while you're doing that, as you can see me doing here, I'm pulling on it while I'm blowing it out slowly. That'll give you like... A nice blowout so go ahead and do that whenever you are blowing out your hair and being that I didn't do too good on the roots on my first pass I went back and just focused on the roots I'm not like running through the ends really quickly but the roots I'm taking my time and moving slowly on because at the end of the day when I do go get my braids you will see the roots like the roots will stick out so I don't want them to look too coarse I want them to look nice and blown out and I'm basically going to do the same process throughout my blowout. I'm going to go through each section and pull a little piece of hair out, blow that piece of hair out first. And I'm doing that because I want to focus on particular sections of my hair rather than doing it all as a whole. I feel like there'll be a lot more shedding in the end and I feel like I wouldn't be able to evenly disperse the product throughout my hair if I do a lot at a time. I feel like going piece by piece is a lot better than trying to do it all at once. I feel like you'll get a much better result. So go ahead and take your time when you're doing this. And y'all already know my advice all the time is to never leave out your edges, okay? So when you're doing this, make sure you take your time and go across those roots and grow, go across your edges. This brush honestly feels like 
any regular wig brush or powder brush. Like, it went through my hair very nicely, very smoothly. The only difference is there's air coming out of the brush. I would say to think of this process like flat ironing your hair. And if you don't flat iron your hair, you may have a wig that you flat iron or anything. Just think of it like a flat iron. When you're flat ironing, you want to go section by section. You don't want to just take big old pieces of hair because the difference between taking small pieces and big pieces, you can tell. Like it's not as straight and it doesn't look as good. So go ahead and take your time when you're doing this. Also, you know how when you're flat ironing your hair, you like to go over certain parts nice and slowly to make sure all of the hair is nice and straightened? That's how I did this blowout process. And my ends are a bit raggedy, but I will be doing a trim right after this. And you all are in luck because I will be recording it. So, yes, that's basically how I'm going to do the first section of my hair. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the next section. So I'm going to say the process one more time just in case you all missed it. So I'm going to take a small section of my hair and apply my leave-in conditioner first to moisturize. And then I'm going to apply my heat protectant spray after to, you know, protect my hair from the blow dryer heat, even though I'm doing it on low. And after that, I'm going to run the blow dryer through my hair, taking my time, making sure I get those roots and those ends. You can run the blow dryer over your hair as much as you feel necessary. I've did it a lot more times than you can see in this video. But after I do do each section, I'm going to take all of it as a whole, start from the bottom, and take my time and run it through the hair, making sure I can get it as blown out and kind of straightened as I possibly can. Make sure that you are doing different angles with the brush. Like you can do it from the top, do it from the bottom, do it from the side, do it from the back. Every angle matters, honestly. I'm not just saying this, it really does matter and make a difference. And this is how it looks after I do one section. Again, I will be clipping these raggedy ends. So if you're interested, stay tuned on my channel, click the bell to be notified for whenever that video is uploaded because clipping your ends is just as important as doing any other hairstyle or putting any products in your hair or anything like that because that is how you can retain growth or you know make your hair grow even more by letting go of those dead ends. So now I am done and I'm gonna show you all what it looks like all blown out, all four sections. And in order to get these crinkles out of my hair that I have from putting my twist in, I'm gonna go over it one more time using the cool section. I'm gonna apply some heat protectant also to make sure that it is still protected even if I'm using cool. I'm just gonna put it anyway. So I'm gonna go on the cool section, make sure I get those cranks out, all of that. It still does a job on cool, but I feel like it does a good job after you've already blow dried it on low or high or whatever you choose. This is how my hair looks now. So after finishing, my hair is nice and fluffy. It's as straightened as I'm gonna get it. Um, if I wanted it straighter, I could have put it on high, but I don't want any heat damage. So I'm gonna keep it to a low state. Um, I'm very satisfied with this brush and I do recommend it because you only have to use one step literally just like the name like you don't have to hold the brush in your hand and try and multitask because whenever I do that honestly my blowouts do not come out this good like they never do and it's never this quick like this was such a quick process for me um, even when it's like the ones with the comb on it I mean they're good but in a way since our hair isn't really straight how easy is it for us to comb our hair with those like little bitty combs that come with the blow dryers like it doesn't work for me i feel like this is a lot better for natural hair people this is something that i do recommend and something you should look into i purchased mine from ulta beauty for only 40 bucks and you can too i'm gonna put a link below of the link to purchase this blow dryer for those who are interested and if this video was helpful if you like the video be sure to like it comment below and if you're not already subscribed and you're new here be sure to click that subscribe button because i have a lot of new content coming very soon and don't forget to check out that trim tutorial because i'm definitely going to tighten up these ends and get it in check but this is all for today